So here one today we are going to take a look at Skytrack and I know this name is familiar to you but we may go much deeper into it and we will see is it really possible right? or it's just a this we will see that okay so it's official website by the way so it says prepare to be transported high speed high can still low cost okay Bridging distances, they will simply just make it too easy for us. And they have test tracks in California, USA, subscaling in new platform, and Texas, USA, full scale pre production track. If you want to test them, you can just go there to show you. Let's just take a look at this video and then we will see. The city. It's where we live, love, and create. Yet as life moves faster and faster, we move slower and slower. Traffic is just getting worse, and driverless cars won't save us, because the problem is not the driver, it's the car. It's been a century, and it is time to move on. Skytrain is the first public transit system that's as personal as a car. It will unclog our cities and transform our lives. With Skytran, there's no schedule. Its predictive artificial intelligence knows when you need your ride. Stations are so narrow, they can fit over sidewalks, so they are always just a short walk away. Skytrans revolutionary magnetic levitation technology enables you to fly on a cushion of air. Traveling in the Skypod is so quiet and smooth that you can comfortably work or just simply relax. Skypods don't need to pick up or drop off other passengers, so there are absolutely no stops on the way to your destination. In the city, Skypods can fly over busy streets at 50 miles an hour and speed up to 200 miles an hour between cities. With some stations built directly into office buildings, a two-hour commute can be reduced to 20 minutes. Skytrans low cost and simple construction allows for many more lines than conventional public transport systems, which in turn allows for greater capacity. Per mile, Skytran subway. Skytran can bring. Okay, now listen to me carefully. First of all, the concept they are working on is great, and let me respect that. That we are actually using. You know what? The idea of roads are totally occurred. I don't know why people even started doing that. Because we live in a three dimensional world, we have three dimensional space, then why are we so confined to the road? Now, some of you may say, okay, we, we also fly, but that's so limited. Now. And you know what? This is really good, but, but, how many such types of things you are going to add, man? There are lots of people, and it's saying it's a single passenger stuff. It's just complicated. There are two things. Either they will not be able to make it go everywhere, right? Or this thing will collapse in the way. Yes, it's true. You know what? I think going up in the sky is stupid. We should go underground. And that's what Elon's boring company is doing. And they are making underground cars. And you know what? The deepest mines are deeper than the tallest building are tall. And that's so true. And, and the most amazing thing is the phenomena like earthquake. This might not be able to tolerate that, right? And the fun part is earthquake is a surface phenomenon. And if we go underground, we will be completely safe from it. It's just as the waves are on the east side. I know you have protest that. Okay. So it's a evolutionary thing. As far as what I'm seeing, it's great. 
and their vision is also great. I think there should not be just one thing like Tanas or Hyperloop. I think the variety is needed in the market and that would be really great if they will be there too. Okay, so see ya in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends if you enjoyed the video for sure. See ya in the next video.